Here, I'll show you this one. Elizabeth Lame. Do you know her? I learned of her through the Allison Rosen experience. You know the Babadook? Look at this woman. Look at this terrible, terrible woman and her husband. Uh, they've got the I Voted stickers. Again, these look like peel-off tops to Domino's garlic butter sauce. To me. Just awful, awful stickers. And uh, she posts this. She goes, this is how we do it. Voted Blue Wave 2018. They're so excited. And I write this. This is one of my ideas <laughs> to bother the people. I wrote, hmm. And I always start my trolls off with, hmm. H M M M M M M M M M. That really reels them in. And, uh, you know, my screen name is clearly Red Bar Radio. And if you just click it, you'll see that I'm not nice. I don't look nice. My feed seems, uh, this guy is probably bad. So uh, I write this. Hmm, those are definitely not legit vote stickers. Not sure fake voting counts, but to each their own. Just a shame that you're mocking the democratic system like this. This drove her insane. Okay, and that's really all you got to do is imply something that's not true. And these people just can't, they can't think it through. What you want to do, though, you know, lying isn't a bit. I always say this, you know, we caught Melton. I'm going to be on Shark Tank. It's not a bit. It's a lie. We caught Aaron Berg uh, last week. Hey, everybody, I'm going to be uh, quitting in hot water and joining Gas Digital. It's not a bit. That's a lie. So what you have to do to make it a bit, you got to give them an opportunity to know it's a bit. Okay. You got to dangle that right in front of their face. So you go, hmm, these are definitely not legit vote stickers. That right there gives them every opportunity to know that this is a troll. This can't be possible. Who would have a fake voting sticker? You know what I mean? <laughs> so it gives them an out. Now, if they fall for it, now it's their fault. Okay? It's not just a straight up lie. It's a bit. Okay? And uh, she did fall for this one. And I'm glad she did. I'm glad I put her through some hell. So I got the response. Here it is. Yes, I got her. Here she is. Red Bar Radio. Cry face, cry face. I'll have what you're smoking, please. One, not fake. Unclear why you, you're you the authority on every state's voting stickers authenticity via photos. Two, why on earth would we not vote when our children's lives are at stake? Three, thanks for the giggle. All right, now she's hoping that it's a giggle. Obviously, she's not fucking laughing if she's listing out bullet points as to why the sticker's not fake. Okay, she's definitely upset about this. Uh, and I wrote back, well, can you prove you actually voted? Okay, this set her the fuck off. All right? Now, these are easy. I'm not bragging. I'm just trying to show you how stupid these people are. Let me show you the rest of these commentos, okay? Um, hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to the morning red bar guy. Okay. Um, well, can you actually prove you voted? That's what I said. And then uh, she writes back, dude, seriously, what are you on? Yes, I can. Via my sticker. You think we spent time photoshopping and printing out stickers instead of just, you know, voting? So I collect my thoughts for one second and I say this. No one is accusing you of making the stickers, but it's... <laughs> this is... Okay. No one is accusing you of making the stickers, but it's fairly easy. <laughs> I can't even say it. But it's fairly easy to grab a pack of knockoffs online from eBay. Not sure why you're being so defensive if you have zero to hide. I love this one. <laughs> it's fairly easy to grab a pack of knockoffs <laughs> on eBay. Why? Why would anyone? So uh, this sets her off. Let's see what she does next here. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I've been blocked here. But I believe she did respond. Somebody else got a little screen here. Uh, she says this. Red Bar Radio, I've marched, spent days canvassing in crazy heat, and phone banked. And then, yes, I chose to spend time, money on eBay buying fake stickers instead of voting. You are bananas. Thanks for the entertainment, troll. Go fuck yourself. Wow. Whoa. I'm so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. So let's read this again. 
I've marched, I've spent days canvassing in crazy heat, and phone banked. And then, yes, I chose to spend time and money on eBay buying fake stickers instead of voting. You are bananas. Thanks for the entertainment. Go fuck yourself. This is where the good go wrong. Good people trying to save humanity that care so much about people, they don't tell other human beings to go fuck themselves. I don't even say that to other people. Ever. Well, maybe. But I don't do it in a casual situation like this. That shows that she's bad. Go fuck yourself. It's a terrible thing to say to a fellow human being while you're out trying to save human beings. Why don't you save one right here? Um, and then somebody else chimes in. He goes, Elizabeth, it's really funny how easily he got your goat. And she writes back. She goes, it's hilarious. I hope you guys feel good trolling a woman slash mother of two small kids with a full time job and a podcast who has worked their ass off to make positive change in this election on top of it all. Very cool, dudes. So this woman is insane. Look how we drove her to insanity here. <laughs> Um, and then this guy writes back. He goes, oof, Elizabeth, it ain't that serious. And it's not. And then I was blocked, completely blocked. So that's how she treats humanity. I'm going to read this back. I'm a woman slash mother of two with small two small kids. I work a full-time job and I have a podcast. So you're not allowed to troll her. She works, everybody. Not like the rest of us. Well, I mean, I was laying in bed naked <laughs> while I did this for the entire day. So she might have a point, but uh, go fuck. Wait, no. Uh, be happier. What about that? And look at your hair. Look at your hair. Your terrible, terrible hair. So here's another two that are trying to save humanity. I hope they, uh, and they probably didn't even know what the votes meant, you know, yesterday. Did she even know? She spent time in the heat. You can't troll somebody who spent time in the heat canvassing. And it really does make me sick. Again, what is causing these people to get out and be so invested in this? Something's up, man. When did the kids all turn into nerds? Why is this happening? You know, it's like uh, when we were in school, the last thing you would do is ever like help the school, right? Yeah. Like the, every kid like is us against the fucking school. And the Democrats have really tricked these people in, into helping them just because they hate Trump. You're still helping very, very bad people, crooked, terrible people. And they really, you know, just because you hate Trump doesn't mean you should be helping this other batch of just as bad people. IMO. OK, so they really have fooled you. You're going out and you're volunteering your time for what? The world is going to be completely identical, completely identical. This isn't the most important election of your lifetime. You've said that every fucking year of my life, every year of my or every election of my life. You have said those identical words. So shut up. Stop lying. Your kids lives don't depend on this election. OK, as if everything's final, they really think that everything's final and that it, things can't be reversed. Things can't be changed. You can't vote. This is the point of elections all the time and voting. You know, it's actually just two to four years of trouble if we fuck up. Right. It's not the rest of the, of the world's time. Things can be changed. It doesn't matter. I don't I don't care what the, the Constitution says. It could always be changed. Uh, so I was, uh, I was mad yesterday, man. I, I did. I didn't like this. 